Good morning, Mike. Well, we're starting off at 58 degrees in the metro, north wind at 7 miles per hour. We're looking at the 40s over the northern mountains, especially up in southern Colorado. We're at 45 in Alamosa, 48 in Durango, 49 in Cortez. We're managing to reach 48 right now in Taos, just updated, 53 in Santa Fe, 59 currently in the metro, and down into the south, we're in the 60s here, 61 for Alamogordo and 62 for Carlsbad. We do have a few showers out there, especially along the easternmost sections of New Mexico, extending from the southern portion portion of Union County all the way down toward Lee County where we're picking up on some moderate to heavy rainfall at this hour. We're also seeing a few scattered showers down into the southern portion of the state as well and these showers will continue to push their way toward the state line as we go through the next couple of hours. We'll be partly cloudy as we go through the morning and through most much of the day. We could get another spot shower as we go through the afternoon. Another rate request in your Thursday morning news blitz. Another energy company is asking the PRC to let it charge customers more. XL Energy, based mostly out of eastern New Mexico, wants a 5.2% rate hike, about $4 extra a month. Lawmakers have yet to do anything on Governor Martinez's renewed call for a ban on driver's licenses for illegal immigrants, but 57% fewer foreign nationals have applied for them in the eight months since she took office compared to the same time last year. The Ruidoso Village Council will vote in two weeks on the controversial ban on guns in village buildings. Mayor Ray Alborn ordered it on his own authority after police asked a man wearing a gun to remove it during a council meeting in July. But many unhappy gun owners are calling the ban unconstitutional. Verizon is launching its first prepaid unlimited phone plan today with voice calls, text messaging and web access. It will run you $50 a month. Prepaid plans are nothing new, but previous plans offered separate prices for each service. And the president will award the Medal of Honor today to a former U.S. Marine. 23-year-old Dakota Meyer is credited with saving 36 lives during a Taliban ambush in Afghanistan two years ago. That does it for your morning headlines.